In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can run and learn the best bunch tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you just to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I wanted to talk specifically about the importance of a power play in Madden 21, how you actually go about learning and building one, and what the whole entire process is. And as I'm doing that, I want to talk specifically about the bunch tight end offense. And the reason why is because I believe that the bunch tight end is the most simple yet the most effective offense that you can run in Madden 21. And if you want to get my entire offensive guide on the bunch tight end, you can get that in the description of this video. You can also get a, uh, a free sample to that. Let me show you that real quick. I'm going to pop my number here up on the right side of the screen. All you have to do to get the free sample to the Bunch Tight End Offensive Guide is just text the word Madden to my cell phone number at 208-218-6900. Now, in this video, we're talking specifically about a power play. And what a power play really comes down to is it is a play that will beat the defense especially some of the most popular defense and so you have to actually run it against every coverage and every adjustment so that you can start to understand what the weaknesses and the strengths are so uh, first and foremost against mabel coverage all i'm going to do is i'm going to double team the defensive end on the right i'm going to id the mic on the corner and then i'm going to put the tight end on a delay fade just like this this is it this is the only setup that you need to do and then the last little step here is i'm going to take this uh, post route and I'm going to motion him to the left just a few steps and what you're going to see as I'm rolling out here is you're going to see that this triangle route this crossing route is going to beat the Mike Blitz 3 with a Mabel coverage of 25 5 and 5 okay let me show you that one more time but this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to put the flat zones to the slot corners so as you see right there the slot corners are in the flats or i apologize the safeties are in the flat zones and now if i run the same exact concept what you're going to notice as i'm rolling out here is it's still going to get open you're going to see the triangle receiver gets open on the sideline so you might be sitting there thinking, well, what about some other adjustments? What are some other things that the defense can do to stop this? Well, another thing that they can do is they can go to Tampa 2. So I'm going to shift right here to a cover 2 style defense with a Mabel coverage kind of thing here. And I just want you to watch kind of how this works. Again, we want to start with one or two main routes, and we want to kind of build around those. That's how you start with the power play. And so as we roll out of the pocket here, you're going to see that the triangle receiver is going to still get open on the sideline. The deep half is not going to really make a difference whether it comes. Now, you might be asking, well, what if we deep half? A lot of times, you know, different coverages play differently whenever you run deep halves as opposed to deep thirds. So I've now deep halved both of my outside corners on the right side. And so if I ID the mic here, you're going to see that as I'm rolling out of the pocket, we're going to get out of the pocket. We're going to look up, look up, look up. And as you can see right here, um, this route is open still, still wide open against that adjustment. And so the beauty of this is you, again, you want to understand how can I make sure that this works against all different types of adjustments. So another uh, adjustment that we're going to try is we're going to actually go ahead and use some cross man. So I'm going to man up the linebacker. In theory, he's got inside leverage on the crossing route. And so we want to see if he's going to be able to stop that. So again, I'm going to get out of the pocket, roll across here. And as you can see, he doesn't really stop it. I mean, he is there, but he doesn't really, you know, take it away. Now, all of this comes back, and now we're going to try our last covered shell. And our last covered shell is cover four show two, um, or like a cover four drop type of defense. And so this is just trying to see if like an outside quarter will do anything. Does an outside quarter stop this? Well, if you run the play as is, you're going to notice here that it actually will get in a pretty good position. You see that I can't really throw this ball. He's going to take the ball, the route away. So that's kind of option A. That's the first thing that the defense can do to stop it is that they can run some type of cover four defense. And so as you kind of go through this process, another thing that you want to know is, okay, well, what can I do as an offense to counter that? Something as simple as motioning over the uh, post route uh, and putting him on a little fade right here you see he's going to be on a fade now i'm going to run that same cover four defense but ideally the streak's going to pull him out of the way and as you see right here a lot of open grass for me to be able to throw the ball to Devonte adams so that is an option that you do have against a cover four style of defense 
Another thing against the cover four style of defense that you'll, you might notice is that, again, the idea here is that because there's no vertical threat on the right side, that outside quarter can really just kind of sit on it. And so as we roll out of the pocket in this situation, if I just release this uh, delay fade, you see it doesn't really do me any good. He's still able to stop it. So that's really the number one thing is that they can um, put their corner into a deep quarter. Their corner on the right side can go into a deep quarter. That's one of the things that they can do to stop it. Now, another thing that we want to try is we want to see, well, what if we drop those flat zones back to 30 yards? What if we drop them all the way back to 30 yards? Does this stop this crossing route that we talked about uh, in this video? And uh, what you're going to see first and foremost is that we're going to start with the safeties going back. Typically, that makes it play a little bit deeper and a little bit better. So we'll show this again. And again, we're just going to run this PA boot over, get out of the pocket, rolling, 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 rolling. And you see, like, we can fit it in, but it's a little bit tighter of a window to fit that in. Now, we want to test and say, okay, well, what about Tampa 2? What if we ran, you know, something like a Tampa 2 style of defense? Would this work? You know, how would this work? So, again, we're just going to snap the ball, get out of the pocket, roll out. Tampa 2 style coverage, 30 yards. You see that he drifts inside at the last second. But Jair Alexander, because he has that deep out zone KO, he's able to make a play on the ball. The last thing I want to show you um, with this is as it pertains to Mike Blitz 3, you're going to see that the only thing that they can do to stop this crossing route without usering it, again, that's really important, without usering it. Um, but if you watch here, if we drop the, the linebacker uh, back there as opposed to the safety, you see it's way much, it's a lot more open. It's a, there's a lot more room for me to be able to throw that ball than the other way that I was talking about. And so the reason that what we've come to the conclusion point of what we've learned is that for the defense to be able to stop that one route, that one route, they have to run cover four. And so the question that, that we now ask is, okay, well, is there something that we can do um, that if we know they're in cover four and we can get it to look exactly the same um, as you know our other route? Well, something like this right here where we just put some underneath routes on the right side, we might be able to get this, this guy over the top. Unfortunately, we're not able to get him but that's just something that's kind of the, that that leads us to our counterplay but but that's really the defense that they're going to be able to call now again are you going to be able to throw your tight end delay fade probably another thing that i want to hit on just briefly and this is why this is such a good play and why most people just don't understand that if you can just execute this play you will have a lot of success so if they're playing underneath zones like this you're going to see here that if i you know release that delay fade that delay fade is wide open over the middle of the field or I've also got this little underneath route. Let me show you that really quickly here. So um, if, if they maybe they use or him like this, maybe something like that right there. And if that's the case, and I run this as is, if you watch here, the circle receiver, when he comes across the formation, you can just playmaker him up and continue to dot up the defense. So this is why the bunch tight end is so good. It's with one basic, basic, basic play, you're able to force your opponent to have to play 30 yard flat zones and to have to play cover four to be able to stop them. And that's going to open up all kinds of other things for the offense. So this is really how an effective offense is built. Is it starts with one play. It starts with a power play, a Lombardi sweep, a play that you must make go, a play that you will make go, and a play that you will run again and again and again. And so in this video, we've shown you how to run boot over. Next video, we're going to talk a little bit about the counter of that. But if you want to get the entire uh, bunch tight end offensive guide from start to finish, and it walks you through exactly how to run this offense um, in detail, you can get that entire offensive guide for just $15. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. Also, if you wanna get a free sample of this, I have a one hour free sample of this in my text message membership. And the way that you can get that is by texting the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later on for our stream at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.